Coming to you from Annapolis, Maryland, home of the U.S. Naval Academy, the sailing capital of the world, home of the world's largest crab feast, and four signers of the Declaration of Independence. This is the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, a daily roundup of local news that you can use, including local sports, local events, local opinion, and local weather from DMV Weather. Now here's your host, publisher of Eye on Annapolis, John Frenet. Good morning. It's Thursday, July 12th, 2018. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Annapolis Mayor Gavin Buckley has announced a festival. The city of Annapolis will host a benefit concert on July 28th for the victims and families and survivors of the June 28th mass shooting at the Capitol Gazette newsroom. The concert is designed to promote freedom of the press and its importance to our country's democracy, and headlining the concert will be none other than Good Charlotte. Now, Good Charlotte got their start here in Annapolis. They played a lot of the local bars. They actually played East Porter Rockin' many years ago, and they are returning to headline the event. Additional bands and speakers are planned but have not been announced yet. The event is supposed to take place on a stage on College Avenue with the Maryland State House in the background, and the audience will be located on Bladen Street, extending down toward Rao Boulevard, which is all right in the area of Lawyers Mall. Details are still being hatched out for this festival slash concert, which is coming up in two weeks, including ticket pricing, where to get tickets, etc. So please make sure you're checking out ionanapolis.net or listening to your daily news brief to make sure that you get the up-to-date information as soon as it becomes available. Up at Arundel Mills Live, the hotel had its grand opening last night. It is a 350,000 square foot hotel with 310 guest rooms and a 2,600 square foot suite. Let that one sink in for a little bit. The performance hall is big enough for concerts and they have put in an additional 2,000 parking spaces to cover that. General Manager Travis Lamb has said that the hotel opening puts it into the big leagues and they can now compete with places like Atlantic City and Las Vegas. Good news for Visit Annapolis as well as anybody that's looking to do some conventioneering here in Anne Arundel County. Maryland Comptroller Peter Francho unveiled the names of the top 25 business and 20 individual tax scoff laws. These are the people that owe almost $13 million to the state for not paying their taxes. Individuals collectively owe $6.4 million and businesses collectively owe $6.3 million. The top scoff law in the business category is Sharpsburg Shell and Snacks out of Hagerstown owing $1.6 million. There were no other Anne Arundel County businesses listed in the top 25. On the individual list, we do have two Anne Arundel County residents. Joseph Gorski of Annapolis owes $164,753. And Edgewater attorney Linda Whitby owes $155,897. Now, the Comptroller's Office does advise everybody that they are going to be putting this list out, and they gave them every opportunity to rectify the situation prior to this list going out. And in other government news, yesterday, Congress paused for a moment of silence to recognize the victims of the Capitol Gazette shooting on June 28th. At 2 p.m., the remembrance was led by U.S. Representative Anthony Brown, along with all of the other members of the Maryland delegation. And Anthony Brown said that the mass shooting was an attack, quote, not only on individuals, but on a cherished institution, the freedom of the press. It is customary in the House that when you have a tragic event happening in the life of our nation, particularly on a large scale, that we take time to remember the people who were lost. We do thank Congressman Brown for making sure that the five members of our community that were lost in the June 28th shooting are not forgotten on Capitol Hill. That is about it for the top news today. Please be sure you check out ionanapolis.net for all the up-to-date news as we do update that consistently throughout the day. And because it is Thursday, we also have Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace with some Makers Minutes. And, of course, George Young with DMV Weather with your local and much-improved weather forecast. Hang tight. 
Don't miss the best event of the summer. Get your tickets now for the 7th Annual Cakes and Corks Festival at the Anne Arundel County Fairgrounds Saturday, August 18th from 1 to 7 p.m. Tickets benefit the Special Olympics of Maryland and include a souvenir glass, unlimited wine and beer samples, plus live music including headliner Kristen and the Noise. Sample over 80 Maryland wines, 40 craft beers, plus vendors like wine cream, wine slushies, and desserts made with craft beer. Buy your ticket today at cakesandcorksfest.com for noon entry. Cakesandcorksfest.com. This is Maryland. The weather can be nearly unpredictable. We've got George Young from DMV Weather in Annapolis to sort it all out. Hey everyone, this is George with DMV Weather and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Thursday, July 12th. More sunshine on tap today for the Annapolis area and surrounding region, but temps won't be quite as warm as yesterday's low 90s as highs today will be in the 83 to 88 degree range. Look for pretty much the same thing tomorrow and Saturday with highs mid to upper 80s before temps warm again Sunday into the 90s with tons of daytime sunshine and a small chance of p.m. showers as well. So all in all, a pretty nice forecast for what can be a very hot time of year. So make your plans now for another great weekend outdoors as it looks to be sunny, dry, and warm across the entire region. Okay, that's it for today. Make it a great day out there, and be sure to follow DMV Weather anywhere, anytime at dmvweather.com or on social media via Twitter or Facebook, or especially on our free app that you can download from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store on all your devices by searching for DC MDVA Weather so you can always stay weather informed. But remember, whatever the weather outside, have fun and be safe. Here's to the teacher who spends her weekend helping children who need a little extra attention. To the soldier who missed the birth of his baby while serving overseas. To the EMT working full-time and taking night classes. To the police officers and firefighters working long hours away from their families to keep our families safe. Here's to you, our hometown heroes. I'm Alan Hyatt, chairman and president of Severn Bank, and we know there are many heroes among us. Men and women who serve without expecting anything in return which is why we're honored to offer our Hometown Heroes program to educators, law enforcement officers, firefighters, first responders, health care workers, and military personnel. Whether you're opening a checking account or buying a new home, we're here to give back to you. Learn more about our Hometown Heroes program at SeverinBank.com. Severn Bank, here with you. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. This is Trevor. This is Aaron. This is Diego. This is Emmy. This is Russell from Annapolis Makerspace with this week's Maker Minutes. It's county fair season again, and Allegheny County has their fair this weekend, and Kent County has theirs next weekend. The more local county fairs will be coming soon. Tomorrow in Ellicott City at the BNO Ellicott City Station Museum is Rails and Ales Night at the Museum, a night to enjoy historic and railroad themed games while enjoying locally brewed beers from the Ellicott Mills Brewing Company. Next Wednesday afternoon at the Oregon Ridge Nature Center and Park in Cockeysville is the Amphibian Walk at Oregon Ridge. Join a naturalist and visit their wetlands to listen for calling frogs and toads. You'll learn who's calling, why and where, and about their Frog Watch USA monitoring effort. At the Anne Arundel County Public Libraries this week, Down and Deal is the monthly SoCo Grow. This month is Picnic with the Pollinators on Saturday the 14th from 5 to 7 p.m. Join them for a special picnic at the amazing Jug Bay Butterfly Garden. There'll be a potluck dinner, a tour of the garden, and the ladies of Pollinators Prospering People PX3 will show you how to create a solitary bee condo and a chrysalis tree. It's held at the Glendening Nature Preserve in Lothian. Afternoons all next week at the East Port Annapolis Neck Library is Coding Rocks. Children going into 4th and 5th grade can learn the basics of computer programming. All experience levels are welcome and registration is required. All next week at the Greenbelt Makerspace is Tech Topics Summer Camp. Introducing students to a variety of tech topics such as animation, game design, electronics, robotics, and more. All activities are hands-on and parents can follow along with daily online updates. Saturday from noon to midnight at Unallocated Space in Severn is their regular epic LAN party. They'll be playing a Hunger Games-style Minecraft PvP session, as well as other games, including possibly Unreal Tournament, Evolve, Team Fortress 2, Rocket League, and more. Potluck food and refreshments are available. And also another reminder that Saturday from noon to 4 is the Annapolis Makerspace first anniversary party and massive open house. Invite all your friends and family. Come by and check out the shop. Also a reminder that Tuesday the 16th and the 17th for 36 hours is Amazon's Prime Day. If you plan on shopping Amazon and taking advantage of all the Prime Day deals, please think about Annapolis Makerspace and go to makeannapolis.org and click on the Amazon banner on the right-hand side before you make any purchases. It really helps us out. 
As always, you can catch me tonight and every Thursday night at Annapolis Makerspace on Renard Court for Electronics Night. And I'll be posting links to these events on the Annapolis Makerspace website at makeannapolis.org sometime today. And whether you're into jewelry, woodworking, costumes, 3D printing, art, silicon molding, software, electronics, fiber arts, 3D modeling, chances are you're already a maker. This has been Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace with this week's Maker Minutes. Thanks for listening to the Ion Annapolis Daily News Brief. If you like what you heard, make sure to tell your friends and colleagues about it. And also tell them about our website, ionanapolis.net, where you can find much more. Be sure to check out our other weekly podcast, The Maryland Crabs. This podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 7 a.m. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time.